up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and this is my fuss budget assistant, Zeno Asagiri. Today's Maga Nerdy Live reaction video is going to be for Tensei Shitara Slime Dada Ken, chapters 81 through 83, and last chapter, Benny Maru was slaughtering motherfuckers, right, kitties? He was slaughtering them good. Yeah, kitty knows, kitty knows. Anyway, let's get to chapter, um... 81 first. See what's in store for us today. Here we go. Oh, how surprising! I didn't expect them to defeat uh, Charbutus this easily. Right? Even we wouldn't have been able to defeat it. Oh, then you're fucked, right, kitties? Oh, kitties! Alright then! Um, you're so persistent, Mr. Panther! Yeah, kitty, you're a persistent panther, aren't you? You're persistent, kitties. Yeah, you're persistent. Um, as fun as this has been, let's call it off here. Yeah, kitty, we gotta call it off here. Clayman's forces are already in tatters. We must report um, this unfortunate state of affairs to him. Well, he in the middle of something. Just like kitty's off, in, he's off, uh, Zeno is off, taking um, on the forces of evil. Right, Kitty? You're all fighting, motherfuckers, right, Kitties? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you'll excuse us. Oh. Woo! Looks like he got away. Lord Benny Mario, can you hear me? The clowns have fled. Got it. We've confirmed their involvement in the invasion. That should be enough. Um... Gel, need, I need you to take charge for a bit. There's one last guy that we gotta deal with. Let me handle him. Roger that. Footman was the one who uh, uh, was the one that led the assault on the orc village. Normally, I would imagine he uh, wanted to end it, um, them himself right away. I see he's not one of those co uh, commanders that always follows his impulses. Sorry, Gel, I've been holding you back. That's not true. We may have lost the fight, but we're still alive. We just have to seize up uh, victory next time. I can't believe it's defeating Charbidus. Uh, did you did you just say Charbidus, the monster that possessed that idiot Phobios' body? You say he came back? No, uh, he did come back, but he got wiped out right away. What? Calm down. Its power was only a fraction of the real ones. Um, it looked like it was uh, using uh, Yamza as a core for its power. Well, that said, there's no any, um, there's no way any normal Majin would be able to defeat two of those at the same time. A monster that's able to do that would be, definitely be disaster class. Hey, <laughs> my man, my spider with disaster class. Woohoo! Hey, it looks like you've been keeping comp my friend's company. That's my man right there. Look, dude, I don't know what it is. And I've said this before. I don't know what it is with characters named Benny Maru, but god damn! Damn, Benny Maru's are fine. Lord Benny Maru! What's going on here? Uh, these people are the Holy Knights of um, the Dragon Fable. They're Lady Melum's su subordinates. What? Lady Melum? So they're not our enemies? Alright, let me try to get this straight. While Clayman's forces have been already been destroyed, do you still have the will to fight us? Nope, 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 nope. Um, if you're asking me... If you're asking me if I plan to continue this fighting, then no. But if you ask me if I have the will to keep fighting, then yes. In fact, I would even say I would like to fight you. Um, I see that it seems like we're of the same mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, whoa, that would be unwise. I agree, Lord Benimaru. If we fight them here, then Lady Milne will definitely have, um, would definitely say something like, I'm gonna join too! That would be a real catastrophe, uh, for Tempest. I got it, I got it. There's certainly no point in... Um, sorry. Uh, she looks like she wants to join in, too. She's like, yes, yes, I want to join in, too. I think Zen will want to join in the fight, too, because maybe that's why he ran off. Um, I got it, I got it. There's certainly no point in fighting here anyways. Besides, we absolutely can't do that. You're so stubborn, Hermes. If I were to fight, I'd better get ready to kill him, or else I'd end up being the loser. Perhaps, but I don't think I, even I would be able to endure the attack that, um, obliterated the Charbutus. Um, although I am confident that I could beat you before uh, you get used to it. Oh, is that so? Study it too! Ah, right. Um, there was something I wanted to ask one of you. How 
the world did your reinforcements get here? I don't think you would have been able to make it here in time unless you used some th something like teleportation magic. Right, about that. It'd be too dangerous to send troops with magic. Ah, right, it's because they'll be exposed to a huge amount of magicals as they travel through uh, tradition extra-dimensional um, space, right? Uh, just like the humans that uh, were summoned here. I, Professor Raphael, just invented legion magic that can protect a target of group target group of individuals. Just now? Of course I haven't tried this out yet, so I haven't, I haven't been able to confirm that it's safe. And I won't force you to do this um, if you don't want to, but if, you're pl if you place your faith in me, I will send the entire army to the battlefield all at once. Well, it's natural for you to be surprised. Even as a subordinate, we were quite surprised ourselves. Boing! <laughs> boing! Boing! Are you serious? Inventing legion magic that completely defies our knowledge of magic so far right on the spot? Such a thing possible? <laughs> They're all like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Anything's possible with our great leader. The time has come at this banquet whence the demon lords came, gathered. The deplorable clown's antics shall be uh, made bare. Ooh, man. Here we go. In chapter 81, it's titled the, oh my god, it says the White King. I, I, I'm hoping this is supposed to be the right king and this is just a typo. Otherwise, it's going to be fucking weird. Seriously, I I'm guessing, I'm guessing that this is just a typo and this is supposed to be the right king. Damn it. Damn it, <laughs> translators, proof for your shit. Several hours after the start of Alpurgis Banquet of the Demon Lords, Claymere continued his plea. Dude, this is several hours after? Oh my god. Dude, they probably all fell asleep. And so I received this testimony from my subordinate. According to him, Demon Lord Carrion tempted uh, the leader of um, Tempest, me, to become a Demon Lord. All alert by the status of being a Demon Lord, I came up with a plan to get the souls needed by releasing the seal on Veldora. The kingdom of, um, of Falmouth was chosen as the sacrificial lamb. We success successfully baited them into attacking us. And at around the t point when uh, blood came to be shed, Veldora reawoke as we'd anticipated. The kingdom of Falmouth was obliterated. Although I rejoice that I could now become a demon lord, Carrion told me, so the truth is that there's a limit on how many demon lords there can exist at one time, and we are already at that limit. But I really want to help you become a demon lord. Say, Rimuru, let's kill demon Clay lord Clayman together. Then we'll have one spot. Uh, then we'll have one open spot. And you'll be recognized as one of us, is what he said. <laughs> what? My subordinate, Majuran, was the one who reported all of this to me through magical communication, but unfortunately she's no longer with us, which is because that savage river over there killed her! Oh, is that what happened? Poor Majuran! Yep, yep. Even I'm shedding a tear! Like hell, I would, I like hell, I would you dumbass! That story is pure fiction! Majuran is still alive, among other things! Right, Cat? Right, Zeno? Yeah, see, he knows. He knows you're full of shit, right, Kitty? Zeno knows. He knows you're full of shit. You came just in time, Kitty, for the testimony. Hey, Clayman. Getting aside the validity of what you sh uh, said for now, um, sorry, sorry. Setting aside the validity of what you said for now, why is it carry on here, the most important one in all of this? Surely he's the one we should be interrogating instead of this young Majin. Um, that can't be done, Dragool. Right, Kitties? Right, Kitties? As you may already know, um, your Zanya is in shambles. See, after hearing about Carrion's plot, Milam flew into a rage, bearing him along with the rest of his country. Uh-huh. Sure. She acted out of consideration for me, but the non-aggression pact uh, between demon lords does exist. She's in a tricky position until we could get more conclusive evidence than a testimony, so I've sent my troops into the ruins of Yorazania to investigate. Isn't that really just an invasion? <laughs> exactly! I assure you that we will procure and bring forth evidence of the plot. Therefore, I hope that we can wait before we decide how to punish Milam. That's all I have on this matter. However, I was hoping that we should decide here and now how to deal with this impudent slime who dares to call himself a demon lord. Well then, let us hear from our guest. You said your name was Clayman, right? You're a goddamn liar! Yes! Call his ass out! 
What? Majora is still alive for one, and I have no interest in the status that comes with being a demon lord. And in any case, Carrion doesn't seem to be the scheming type. That's for sure. Ah, <laughs> that's for sure. Ha! Who do you think would believe such a clumsy, uh, such a flimsy excuse? You may have gained some confidence for Veldora on your side, but in the end, you're just a slime that can't do anything without that dragon. Oh, that. That's where you're. That's where you're wrong. Sure, I ride on his coattail sometimes, but we've simply been friends even before all this. For, for, besides, I'm not the only one with flimsy evidence here. Your evidence rests only on your subordinate's report, yeah? And you said that she was killed? You said that she was killed? You can't call that evidence! Oh, by the way, Majoran is under my protective custody right now. So even if we brought her here right now, I don't think she'd give you a favorable testimony. <laughs> Points for the slime! The slime just out of you, motherfucker! Yes, he did! You really would resort to such dirt- Dude, you're the one resorting to such dirty measures! Shut the fuck up, Clayman! You really would uh, resort to such dirty measures? Let me guess, you had some evil spirit or other uh, possessed or corpse? This is such projection! This is projection! Possessed or corpse? Why would I ever do that? Just as I thought, sleeves- <laughs> do think on a different wavelength. This bastard! Yes, this bastard! This bastard called your ass out! He knew you were projecting! Whoa! All of you, how much longer are you going to get? Let this puny slime run his mouth! You mean let this puny slime here expose your ass! Expose your hypocritical ass! This fool tried to become a demon lord by abusing the might of uh, the storm- Whoa! Like I said before- Give a damn about this demon lord nonsense. All I want is to develop a country where I can live a leisurely life. But to do that, I absolutely need the help of humans. That's why I decided to protect them. Anyone that intends to get in the way of that, be they human, demon lord, or even the holy church itself, is my enemy. Just like you, Clayman! Yeah! I'm sure you hate my guts, too. So clearly this is something that's between just the two of us. Hey, you... Do you really intend to be a demon lord? That's right. I've already assumed the role of Jura's um, force ca uh, chancellor. To humans, that, that already makes me a demon lord in a way. Very well, then. We've got all the witnesses we need here. If you can be claiming in front of us, then we'll let you assume the title of demon lord. Woohoo! Keeping it real simple, huh? Much obliged. Uh, wait for me, Millum. I'll set you free. And so, um, the situation continues to unfold. For some things were just, were, for some, things were just go, were going just as expected. And for others, uh, things were going just as planned. Woo! Clayman's domain. This is not good. Something is interfering with my magic sense, right? Not only is this fog restricting our field of vision, but it's also disturbing the flow of magicals. I can't use um, ether thought communication or spatial travel. In addition, if we suppose that uh, the fog is under our enemy's control, then it should be trivial uh, for them to track us. Let's try to minimize our presence as we move forward, as futile as it may be. Makes sense. This works well as their base's uh, defense mechanism. Lady Shana, try not to stay, stray too far from me. Of course. Thanks, Sue. Huh? She's completely erased her presence. A combination of illusion magic and witchcraft. Very impressive, Lady Shana. You see, unlike you two, I do not possess any skills that can hide my presence. Unique skill manufacturer. The gift that Shana received alongside Rimuru's ascendance to Demon Lord. It grants her the ability to create her own unique magical skills. That is bomb. That's strange. I can't sense the enemy's presence at all. Surely they'd still station some uh, troops to defend their base no matter how effective this fog may be. Oh dear, it appears we walked straight into their trap. What the? Even with this thick fog, how, th thick fog, how the hell did they hide in this wide open wasteland? I suspect this fog brings about spatial interference. They didn't hide. We were simply brought to them. Straight into the heart of their ranks. Uh-oh. Um, without my magic sense, it's hard to get a feel for the strength of their army, but if all, if all they have are numbers, Lady Shana, I'll create an opening, then you and Lord, um, Hakuro should... No, Sue. These enemy enemies do not seem so easy, uh, easily to, uh, dealt with. 
But Jaron told me about Clayman's subordinates, especially about the Five Fingers. There's some... Uh, oh my god, this artist looks so good. There's someone who controls the large army of undead and is exceptional at base defense. This incredible ominous power. Yes, it has to be him. The, oh, so it wasn't a um, typo. All right, I'll take back what I said, translators. The White King, Alman Clayman's index finger. Ah, yes, I am none other than Aldman, protector of the great demon lord Clayman's domain. He ain't no demon lord! Shut up! You lowly intruders, I would advise you to give up your lives. Then you need not, then you need not suffer. Oh, to be able to read my movements like that, you're still a swordsman at heart, e even as uh, the rest of your body decays. Woo! Impudent fools! That Death Knight is no mere zombie. But the undead, including the Death Knight, serve Aldman. So, as long as we kill him, Sue! Woo! Woo! Striking manipulation, or sorry, string manipulation, thousand deadly cuts! To think that they have, they even have a dragon zombie! Holy shit! No, this is no mere dragon zombie either. Impossible! That was supposed to be a one-hit KO attack! The pinnacle of the undead. A death dragon! Woo, shit! I see, so it's resistant to death, huh? In that case, I'll rip its soul apart too! Sue, calm down! The death dragon's soul isn't in, it, isn't in its body? Had you been thinking clearly, you would have seen that as well! It's in that white uh, King Aldman, uh, isn't it? Right, uh, yeah. Right. I need to defeat Alvin while protecting Lady Shana from the Death Dragon and other zombies around us. Let's see how I can do this. Sue, you don't need to worry about protecting me. I need you to focus instead on keeping that dragon occupied, but I am quite I am quite angry right now. At the actions of the summoned ones, at the kingdom of Falmouth's invasion, and at the one behind it all Clayman. I did not come here to sightsee. Woo! You tell him, Shana! Alignment field! Woo! Oh? Ooh, a few uh, fusion of an wait, yeah, a fusion of anti magic field and holy field. I see, truly a beautiful composition of magic. Only a certain level of undead can walk it, um, in without falling to their knees. That's right. Ever since we escaped from our village and met Lord Lord Rimuru, um, Lady Shana has always been the um one being protected. This is a battlefield. This is a battlefield. I shall be the one to defeat him. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you try. Yeah. May the tides of war favor you. <laughs> How very valiant of you, young lady. I would like to give you a painless death, but unfortunately, I am obliged not to go easy on you. Your concern is unwarranted. That's so. The die acid shell. Ooh, acid shell. Flame wall. Woo. Not bad. How about this? Oh, vengeful spirits of the dead, I offer you these sacrifices. Curse bind! Holy bell, dude. This is, this is fucking heaven and hell right here. Ridiculous! You're using holy magic? How? How is a monster able to use holy magic? Those that do not worship God should not be able to use it. What makes you think she don't worship God? Humans are not the... See? Humans are not the only one who are allowed to use holy magic. If praying and believing in miracles is what it takes, then anyone can have the, their fever answered. The object of their faith itself doesn't need to be holy. There is no... Ooh! Right here. There is no good or evil. The strength of their fever itself becomes the magic power. People don't get it. People don't get that shit. Even if you try and take God and say that God ain't real... An atheist, you know, you should know this too. You're not going to get rid of people's faith. You ain't going to do that. That's why, like, I, I and yes, atheists, I respect you. I respect your beliefs, but like, I believe in God. I'm a Jew. Whatever. Yes, I am. But there's a, like, if I wasn't a Jew, then I would probably be agnostic, of all things, because that to me would make that to me would make the most sense but no nah. i believe i know that i believe in god i do but anyway i'm just saying 
There's no way. Have I, have I, have I been wrong this whole time? Back then, when followers of the Luminous drove me to the brink of death, Luminous himself did not save me. Dude, this art is fantastic. I lost my faith in him. That's why I was never able to use holy magic ever again. Or so I thought. Girl, do you have a name? My name is Shunna. I suppose the object of her faith is the one who named her. Um, I see. Perhaps you could be the one um, who could set me free. Can I ask you ju uh, just one question? What is it? If you wish to free all these undead, why don't you just break the curse yourself? Woo! I see. You've noticed. Yes. The entire defense mechanism draws its power from you, right? These undead were simply incorporated as part of the curse that was cast on you. <laughs> You're frightfully observant, in which case I am sure that you could tell that this curse is not so easily broken. Oh, I see. I was convinced that you were strong enough, but it seems like I overestimated you. I don't know too much about the god that humans believe in, but I do vaguely remember that only high-ranking priests wore those, uh, wear those vestments. You're unable to use holy magic now, yet you're still wearing them. Do you perhaps still have some lingering attachments? <laughs> now, now you're just saying whatever you want. I can't believe she even saw through my inability to use holy magic. That's because she ain't stupid. Acid shell. Again? Don't underestimate me. I devote this prayer to thee, my lord. I yearn for her and seek your divine power. I'm furious not at this young lady, but at myself and my lack of resolve. To think that this young lady would be the one to enlighten me. I have no resentment for her. In fact, she even has my gratitude. But I am bound here by demon lord uh, Kazarine's curse. I am forbidden from destroying myself. My apologies, Lady Shanna. Allow me to take you to the underworld. Hear my prayer. The least I can do is end you quickly. Oh, Lord, give me all that house disintegration. That's what I've been waiting for. Overdrive. Oh, overdrive. What? What? Impossible. You have the power to recompose a cast spell? Um, even without a tenth of my um, um, amount of magicals. Did you just overwrite my magic? Holy shit, she did. I knew you'd be able, uh, you'd be, um, able to gather more holy energy than me. Incredible! In return for showing me your resolve, I will free you from this world! Oh my god. Ooh! The fog. It's been lifted. That was amazing, Lady Shanna. Alright then, let's go! We still have to take over Clayman's stronghold. With her kindness and strong resolve, she liberated her enemies. Dude, that was powerful! What, what, what Shana did. Because it could show you even if you fall into the, like the, the darkest path and you're just, and you're freaking lost. Someone can help you. If you reach out, someone can help you and liberate you. You don't have to, you don't have to struggle alone. If you're willing, if you, if you are willing to get help. That's what I got from that. And I thought that was, that was great. That was Fucking brilliant writing right there. Anyway, let's get to chapter 82. Yay! Guy Crimson, Primordial Demon, the first Demon Lord. Um, derived from the Great Spirit of Darkness, he is one of the seven Primordial Demons. As the first Primordial, he rules over the realm of the dead, the tale of an ancient king's past. Right after lesser demons are born, uh, they have no color. Eventually, they acquire one of the seven colors depending on their nature. People usually summon colorless lesser demons of colored uh, or colored greater demons. But sometimes, there were exceptions. Why? Even though you were summoned to annihilate our enemies, why do you annihilate our country too? That's compensation. <laughs> You don't fucking you don't do you don't fuck with that shit. You don't fuck with summoning demons like that, especially greater demons like that, without without con knowing the consequences. Especially if you can't control them. The price of your wish was far too much for you. You should have seen this coming. Yeah, should have seen this coming. You you damn crimson demon. Primordial Red had, uh, heeded his master's wishes and destroyed the enemy's country, but he destroyed his master's too. See, if you ain't strong enough to tame a demon, you're gonna get your karma. People scream sure sound nice. Maybe I should use them for my name. That day, the first true demon lord was born. 
The oldest demon uh, lord's scarlet gaze falls upon the new blue star. Um, but that event occurred ten millennia, uh, tens of millennia ago. And this chapter, chapter 82, is titled A Demon's Loyalty. How curious. Even though they're uh, the ten great demon lords, it's just the name that hum uh, humans gave them. What? Not like the numbers matter. Are you really sure, um, everyone, about forgiving the inferior slime's impudence? Don't shut the fuck up about the inferior... That inferior slime called your ass out on your bullshit. You are fucking full of shit. Um, he's insulting us... <laughs> he's insulting us... You ain't a demon lord. Shut the fuck up. You ain't no demon lord. You ain't no demon lord. You a poser. You a poser. Oh, I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> I know I'm gonna probably fall asleep because I'm bored of this shit. I don't really care. Clayman, since you're a demon lord too, why don't you show us uh, that you could beat this guy with your own strength? The weak are unfit to call themselves demon lords. Yes! And this motherfucker weak. He weak. It's character weak. We have a place to fight now, so let's get on with it. It's about time for the real demon lords to rule. Yeah! Woo! I need a plushie of this fox. My, my. I, though I truly despise dirtying my own hands, I guess it's come to this anyway. The blun uh, blundered this time. This is an order. Kill Rimuru Tempest. Mila? No! Just admit, in the end, you rely on others. How do you mean? Dude, that is fucked up. Don't you? Don't! How do you mean? Mila isn't exactly a girl who listens to others willy nilly, is she? She's arrived at these decisions herself. Guys, is there a problem with that? Not at all. If Mila's fighting on her own volition, I won't stop her. This is bad. Clayman is one thing, but Mila is really bad news. She smiled? Well, whatever. I was planning to save her anyway. I'll just undo your brainwashing, even if it takes all I've got. T yes! This is a win-win! Quit prattling, slime. You're going to die in despair. Oh, Clayman! Just you wait. Just you wait. There is a buttload of karma with your name on it. Oh, there's an industrial size, industrial size bottle of karma with your name on it. You're the one who's gonna die, Clay Man, but not not by my hands. That just that just be the strong bullying the weak. Ooh, oh, <laughs> the shade! Wow, my subordinates will do just fine. What was that? Whoa! Bye, bitch. Yeah, that <laughs> was some fucking shade, though. What the gonna be my own hands? Cause that'd be a strong play of the week. That was Shane. That was Shane. Can we go ahead, Lord Rimuru? Um, oh, Shion, you should ask that before beating him up. Oh, damn, she getting serious. Ha <laughs> ha! Ultra speed regeneration, huh? A demon lord is a demon lord, after all. He's pretty tough. You know, in you insolent. Dude, this art is great. You insolent. You insolent little... A puppet? Fox Cutie! Don't get ahead of yourself! I'll kill all of you! Dude, even full grown, that fox is goddamn adorable! I, I need a plushie of that fox. That is adorable as hell. Nice, things are st finally getting serious! Don't get cocky, you dirty slime! Um, Ninehead! Do this! <laughs> I love the side head. Uh, Ranga, sir, I will be your opponent. Yeah! Oh my god, what the fuck? She get hurt though! She only claimed me and his lackeys to you. Got it, Lord Romero, you. I, I will save Milam. Yeah! Whoa, wait, aren't they gonna end up destroying this pa uh, destroying this place? Oh, that, oh, that would be bad. A barrier? What the hell? The chairs are all the way over there? I 
confirm the barrier's effect on the expansion of space. It is impossible to destroy the barrier from this side. That makes... Oh, that makes sense? Uh, no, they can fight to uh, their heart's content. Professor Raphael, I'm counting on you here. Report to me if you find any of Clayman's curses on her. Understood. <laughs> I love that he's gone. That's my god, Professor Raphael. It's just fucking awesome. Damn, even I... Uh, even though I deflected it? Truthfully speaking, I don't have much of a chance against her. All I could do is buy time until Raphael can finish analyzing her curse. I isn't this a little extreme, isn't it? There are three on Rumor's size, but Clayman has nine head, um, the puppet and Millim. Uh, just from the, nine uh, for just from the numbers alone, it's already unfair. I understand, Rumor's, please. That's why... Wait a minute, guy. I'm with Rimuru, so my servant Beretta... No way. Why not? Huh? The fight's between this, that slime and Clayman, right? Uh, a Clayman, yeah? There's no reason for you to join in. What are you talking about? Millen's in there, isn't she? Oh, it's fine for her. What do you mean by that? Why is it fine for her, and not for, but not for me? Ugh, what a pain. Millen pro uh, probably has her own motivations besides. That dryad over there seems fully committed to protecting you, but... This bread of yours, whom has, whom has, whom has it sworn its loyalty to? From what I can tell, it's a demon incarnated into a mannequin of um, Magasteel, but you're not its summoner, are you? We can't have a servant that serves two demon lords at once. You'll be serving for a hundred years. Um, your compensation will be some of my magicals and this golem body made of Magasteel. Once I have fulfilled uh, my contract protecting this fairy for 100 years, please allow me to serve you. Or if I'm still alive, sure. Well, then I'll give you the name Beretta. It's true. There are two individuals whom I consider my masters. Uh, Rammers whom I must serve. And Rumoru, my summoner and creator. She's an old friend of mine. I can't let one of her servants uh, waver between masters. Beretta, I need you to decide right here, right now. Who is your one and only master? For as long as, um, very well then. For as long as I live, I pledge my loyalty to Ramorous, so please allow me to be of service to Lord Rimuru at least this once. Is that what you call loyalty? Yes, it is. It is Lady Ramorous, um, Ramorous's wish to save him after all. I see no contradiction here. Ooh, he found a loophole. Didn't I tell you? Uh, didn't I tell you I'm with Rimuru? Britta, please help Rimuru in my place. Of course, Lady Ramorous. You're doing it because your master wants you to. Ah, makes sense to me. Isn't that obvious? We're all friends after all. Beretta and uh, Trini and of course even Rimuru. Well, if that's all right with you. You don't have any second thoughts, do you? Yes, a demon far stronger than I am is already serving Lord Rimuru. Besides, I've grown quite fond of Lady Mirimurus, as well as, of my, as, well, as well as of the days we spend researching together. Please keep it a secret. Hmm? Woo! You have my gratitude, rogue. Ah, uh, no need to call me that. Ooh! I'm sorry. You, you have my gratitude, Rouge. There we go. You have my gratitude, Rouge. Woo! Ah, uh, no need to call me that. You can call me Guy as well. Demons tend to seek masters they consider strong, and they want their masters to respect them for their own strength. But Beretta seems to value something other than just combat ability. It's almost just like him. Go, go, Beretta! A demon far stronger than I am. Wait, I have a one question. What color are you? I believe there are very few of us with my color, because he doesn't like to create many descendants. A lineage with few descendants. Ah, it has to be. I see. That's why your priorities are all over the place. Lord Rimuru, is that Beretta? Please leave that puppet to me. Um, okay. Uh, you, you really saved me. Really? So you're on the move, too. Noir, the primordial black what? Well, well, Lady Xion is also quite the handful, isn't she? How troublesome! Restoration magic clearly isn't going to work anymore. What in the world did she use this? Uh, use to make this biology, uh, biology defying um abomination? Ah, uh, this will be a bit of a last resort. Please bear with me. I sure hope the carriage with the three prisoners reaches uh, Farmus in one piece. Although they weren't exactly in one piece to begin with. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Master Diabolo. Shut up, you piece of trash. All right, next up. 
He's restored my king. Restore him before me. Ah, uh, come to think of it, you were one of the prisoners, weren't you? Your name was Robin? No, Rosin, right? Surely you understand the fact that all wishes made to me come at a steep price. No, I just... Right, even though... Right, you know everything about him, but his eyes look human. This man actually is an arc demon. No, an existence even greater than that. One of the seven primordial demons! Whoa! Yes! But what's really terrifying about that is that, de th that this demon has a master... Lord Remaru, Shion, don't go too off the rails. Delicate but harboring um, a mind-boggling amount of power. A demon lord. I finally understood at that moment that the kingdom of Pharmas has aw had awoken a sleeping lion. Please let me be of use to you as a, your most humble, humble servant. From this day forward, I offer you my entire life. With that, I humbly ask that you give uh, mercy to King um, and Maris. Well, that's alright with me. It's not the best compensation, but I may have some use for you. I'll restore um, him to his former self later. However, I will not tolerate you disrespecting Lord Rimuru ever again. From now on, if you ever show if you show any sign of rebellion, your king and the entire kingdom of farmers will be extinguished from the face of this world. Of course, my loyalty lies entirely with you. Uh, I as well. I will do anything. I'm an archbishop of the Western Saints Church. Uh... Woo! We got a spy! I can be of great help to you! Uh, despite as many years of serving as a court wi as court wizard, he's finally abandoned the kingdom of Pharmus. Um, This fate is yours and mine alone to bear. Raisin made the correct decision, surely. I, as the last king of Pharmus, will cooperate with you, Lord Diabolo, in any way you so desire. Rest assured, as long as you serve me well, I won't touch a hair on your head. Unique skill, Tempter. Its abilities are thought, um, wait, thought domination, charm, and solicitation. It mentally restricts its, uh, targets, completely limiting free will. <laughs> donkey, donkey! Um, at this moment, the three prisoners began their servitude to Diabolo in both mind and body. Hey, Diabolo, the prisoners are still alive, right? Everything's fine, Lord Yom. We've almost reached Pharmacist territory. Let's quickly wrap up this little coop. All right, is it really little? Because I would like to get ready to go meet Lord Rimuru before uh, Rimuru before he returns from all purges. <laughs> oh, she. Her previous smile is nowhere to be seen. What's really going on with her? Let's get to chapter eighty-three and find out. But dude. Woo! Dad, if, Di if Diablo makes it to all purges, oh shit. Then it's gonna be really lit between Rouge and Noir. Man, I can't wait for this shit. Present thy strength that will purge is worth gather the mighty. And chapter 83 is titled The Crazy Periot. Um, this is terrifying. This is really terrifying. What's terrifying, you ask? Mel is, of course! Yeah, Clayman ain't terrifying at all, because he's a pussy. He's a little bitch. Notice analysis of Demon uh, Lord Milam has been completed. Oh, I've been waiting for that, Raphael. Were you able to d dispel Clayman's curse? Answer. What? No curses were detected? What? Um, unable to detect any curses cast upon Lord uh, Demon Lord Milam. This? Are you kidding? Are you really controlling Milam uh, using magic that even Raphael can't unravel? Clayman, you bastard! Your magic is stronger than I thought after all, huh? No, that is incorrect. There are um, traces... Ooh, there are traces of domination magic. Demon dominant on the orb of her bra arm bracelet. Orb? Which means that as long as uh, we destroy the orb, we can free her from the curse. No, that is not... The orb on her arm bracelet, you said... Uh, let... Wait, uh, the, sorry. The orb on her arm bracelet, you said? Orb. Orb. No, there it is! Given that Mel Mel's entire body is surrounded by that aura, I can't even get to it with my normal attacks. I could probably do it with the storm magic that I got from my ultimate skill, uh, skill storm dragon Veldora, but judging by its name, it's probably more of an area of effect attack. It um, uh, uh, would be kind of hard to aim for just the orb. Um, suggestion, a magical absorption attack using Beelzebub. Yes! We're going to see Beelzebub! That could work. Woohoo! Yes! Yes! 
Whoa, she looks pissed. It might have worked. I can keep chipping away at Melon's en energy like this. As soon as she lets her guard down for even a second, that would be my chance to break the orb. But honestly, rather than trying to go for a one in a million chance, it's probably more realistic to take down the caster claim man himself. Yeah, because he's a bitch. Okay, that's it? For someone who calls himself <laughs> Lord, you're pretty weak. Damn straight he is. Cause remember, Clayman is a bitch. So, anyway, Clayman, you a weak ass bitch, and you're getting called out on your weak ass bitchness right now. That's it. For someone who calls himself a demon lord, you're pretty weak. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Just some slime sentiment. So don't get ahead of yourself. Dude, shut up. You ass getting called out. You hate it. <laughs> it's true. Go, marionette dance. Dude, them marionettes are creepy. I love it. But, dude, you a weak ass bitch. She chopping them down like nobody's business. Oh. <laughs> Well done! Crushing my doll so easily! Dolls infused with the souls of real strong Majin! They were really nothing to worry about! <laughs> this is great! What you, th what? you thought this was the end? I did say they were infused with the souls of Majin! Dolls, rise up for me once more! It's time to dance! A dance to send this demon off to hell! What? What the hell? They're not coming back to life? Why not? The infused souls are gone? It seems like our little playtime with dolls is over. That great sword, there's no way! Are you saying you consumed the souls? Let's play tag instead. <laughs> yeah! Did she not whoop in your sorry ass, Clayman? Master! Master! Uh, Ranga? What happened? Are you in trouble? No, I mean to say, I'm in no physical danger, but I'm at a loss. What do you mean? When Master has a moment, please come over here. Got it. Hang in hang in there until then. That said, the most likely way we can uh, come to a good stopping point is if Milam obliterates my entire body. Well, as long as she doesn't screw up. Here's my chance. As long as I can destroy the orb on her um, arm bracelet. Notice this could be a trap. Ah! Woo! Yikes! Huh? I didn't get obliterated? Oh! What the hell was that for? That was mean! Um... Veldora? Huh? Why is he here? Notice the ability uh, summon st uh, Storm Dragon from the ultimate skill st uh, Storm Dragon Veldora was used. Well, I remember that. <laughs> oh my god, Veldora! Oh god, Veldora! I, well, I remember that ability, but I didn't use it. Uh, did you use it, Raphael? No, I will not utilize any skill without Master's consent. Really? Yes. It appears that the one named Eldora was brought here himself using the here using the summon the summoning pathway. Are you for real? Hey, why the hell did you come here? If you just came here to play around, go home. Hmm? Raphael, well, isn't it a little mean to talk to me like that after treating me that way? Huh? What do I do? This is what I'm talking about. Older brother's only child, but she just she's just being a 
control. Don't injure her, okay? Uh, leave it to me, but... Wait, what? 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 I see, so that's how it is. Very well, come at me with all you've got, then. I'll show you all the techniques I've learned from the Holy Scriptures. Oh, my God! Manga saves... Dude, I can not tell this manga saves the day. Manga is just literally saving the day right now. Ranga, apologies, um... Uh, yes, Master. Apologies, Master, for my unsightliness. As long as you're fine, what happened? Well, save me. <gasps> save me? No! Clemens forcing you to fight too, huh? Master, what an asshole! What an asshole! Clayman, you are a scumbag! Newcomers? Uh, they're, uh, they're the fox's minions. They came um, from uh, two of his tails. Ringo, keep those two busy. Yes, sir. Save the baby foxy! Yip. Uh, yip, yip, yip. The influence of demon dominion has been, um, has been confirmed. Raphael found it really quickly this time, huh? Lifting the curse. too. My rumor may have a word with you. Uh, Soy, what's up? Right. Um, we've been, uh, we've taken Lord, uh, we've taken Clayman's stronghold. Huh? Already? Yes, many things happen. My faith in Lord Luminous is no more. For that reason, I desire a new god to worship. Lady Shanna, if I could, uh, if I could, would you allow me to meet your god? Like I said, I don't worship Lord Rimuru. I respect him greatly, though. How many times do I have to repeat myself? Lord Rimuru, what a defying name he has he. He's another, he's another Diablo. Oh no, he got another Diablo. You hear that, Keys? Yeah, Keys. I know, Kitty. Um, the several thousand undead ha um uh, hastily surrendered to Lady Shanna. Huh? Fine, do as you like. Is that truly all right? And so the subjugation went smoothly. Huh? Right, Keys? Yeah, Kitty, he's a good key. He's a good cat. Um, let's just, uh, let's discuss the details later. I found something I must deliver to you at once, so I called the, I called for Geld. Please check your stomach. As a result of Beelzebub's skill, uh, food chain, uh, Geld and I have access to each other's stomachs. Basically, I can retrieve any items from him because they're stored in subspace. Oh, I see now. What, why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? It's the same demon marionette. Why is it working, Keesh? Why? Why? The same ultimate magic that dominated even Milam's mind. What are you trying to do? This doesn't affect me at all. Should I keep waiting just a little longer? Woo. What? What the hell are you? Sorry, Viola, what the hell are you doing? Hurry up and... Viola? Oh. Um, so that was your name. You were pretty strong, I must say. You had quite the diverse arsenal of attacks. It's rather a shame, but that level of strength just won't work on me. Then I shall help myself to the spoils of war. I'll modify this with Lady Remorous later. Your follower's pretty weird. He takes after you. Just call me a research fanatic. Impo just call me a research fanatic. Um, impossible. Viola, Ninehead, even my marionette dance. Am I really no match for him, this newcomer? There's no coming back now, huh? Uh, sorry, losing to a sl Losing to a slime? Yeah, kitties. There's no coming back now, huh? If you still have something up your sleeve, hurry up and use it. I've resolved to uh, crush every single one, single scheme of yours. And also, how about you, Demon Lord Clay and Man? Are you going to fight? I see, you're right. I am a Demon Lord, after all. Ah, that's why I'm so obsessed with how I fight elegantly, gracefully, bearing my enemies. 
It's been so long since I felt this, this, this desire to crush enemies with my own hands. Woo! Such exhilaration! Lord Rumoru, please step back! Oh? Yes! Lord Rumoru, shy. You finally decide to get serious, huh? Color me impressed. I'm Rimuru Tempest, uh, the Chancellor of the Tempest Federation. Let's sell this once and for all. And I'm Demon Lord. No. Crazy Pia Corbin! Yes! Um, you're dead, Demon Lord Rimuru. Yes! It's finally here, the confrontation of the two lords! Dude, this is gonna be everything! Yes! That clown is going down! Holy shit! I love, I love this. I'm living. This is great. This art just makes it better. But man, Clay Man, you are such a bitch. And now I know why. It's because you're a clown bitch. You're a clown bitch. You're a clown ass bitch. You're a clown in every two. You're a clown ass bitch. A weight clown ass bitch. But woo. <laughs> I just love it. I think that part, probably the best part of these chapters is Veldora coming in and just feel like, dude, you, 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 you clown me on some manga. Clown me on some manga, motherfucker. But dude, that fucking, what the hell, man? The fact that Rimuru, or not Rimuru, I'm sorry. The fact that Milam is Veldora's niece, like, what the fuck? To, besides the light novel readers, because I know you light novel readers already s knew this was coming, but... Woo! Dude, I did not see that coming! That was just like a wow, right, kitties? Sam. Right, kitty? Were you shocked? No, he's too busy trying to destroy clowns right now. Right, kitties? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to Nerdigan's Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more! Slime content. There's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All of that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.